H-2 uh, B worker visas, which That's are right. going to be people specifically coming for blue collar jobs. As I mentioned in the first segment, Obama is very aware of how his policies have devastated that segment. And of course, all this is about creating voter blocks. Mm -hmm. And he's very worried that these blue collar Democrats are going to become Trump Democrats like they became Reagan Democrats. And that's the true fear here. Yeah. It's not, uh, you know, that he's, that, that Trump is creating fear. No, Obama is afraid of the blowback of his policies uh, here in America with that particular demographic. Right. And I also thought it was very telling when they asked Hillary Clinton, should, um, should corporate America like Hillary Clinton? And she said, everybody should. So that was just very telling. Obviously, she's going to say that she's going to fight against Wall Street, you know, fight for the middle class and all that. But then she kind of winks and nods to the corporations and Wall Street. Everyone's going to like a Clinton president. Well, the arrogance and the criminality of Hillary Clinton is just incredibly obvious. That's what this article from the week that uh, Drudge uh, linked to is talking about when it says winning ugly. We're not talking about her appearance. But of course, when we come back from the break, we're going to have some people who do make fun of her appearance, make fun of her policies. <laughs> Make fun of her long criminal history. We're going to show you some of the entries from the Alex Jones Hillary contest. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Brain force is here. Ladies and gentlemen, I've been on this the last few months. You probably noticed I've been more crazed, more focused, less brain fog, more energy, more special reports, and it's because of brain force. One of the worst things with most energy products is it's not sustainable, right? You're gonna crash, you're gonna feel really bad afterwards. This has a bunch of different antioxidants and compounds and polyphenols. Everybody's on these drugs to knock their brain out because the brain's so fried. We kept changing this formula over and over and over again until it became sort of a grand puzzle. For example, the L-theanine inside of it, that is activated by the different compounds in the yerba mate that we put inside of it as well. This just increases the compounds you already have. This is what you're actually designed to run on. Exactly. It's kind of like a car will run on one form of junkie gas, but it runs really good on what it's designed for. You will find Brain Force, Survival Shield X2, and other game-changing products at InfoWarsLife.com or call 888-253-3139. Introducing Secret 12, the new InfoWars Life Vitamin B12 formulation. Most forms of vitamin B12 are highly processed and synthetic and could not be properly absorbed by the body. That's why for real results, so many are having to turn to painful B12 injections, which are known to have higher absorption rates. Now, InfoWarsLife.com is excited to announce that we can bring you our most bioactive, powerful form of B12 that has been developed with our exclusive perfected process. Secret 12 is a binary of nutramedical grade, bioavailable coenzyme forms of B12, methylcobalamin, the same kind used in B12 injections, and adenosyl cobalamin. Secret 12 is simply taken by mouth, right on the tongue, and then swallowed. No needles, no injections. Don't take my word for it. Try it for yourself. Discover the secret. Secret 12. Secure your revolutionary Secret 12 formula right now at InfoWarsLife.com or call 888-253-3139. Back in April of 2015, 55 civil society organizations, security experts, and academics signed a letter opposing CISA. Then in October of 2015, the Senate passed the Cybersecurity Information Sharing Act by a vote of 74 to 21. That act quietly slipped its way into the government funding omnibus bill that was recently signed into law by President Obama. However, the CISA privacy provisions added to the omnibus stripped even more privacy protections than the October version. They took a bad bill and they made it worse, says Robin Green, policy counsel for the Open Technology Institute. Essentially, warrantless searches of anyone's private information will be shared between third-party companies and a whole new host of federal agency portals, local police fusion centers, and as a side effect, foreign hackers. Wired reports, the earlier bill had only allowed that back-channel use of the data for law enforcement in cases of imminent threats, while the new bill requires just a specific threat, potentially allowing the search of the data for any specific terms regardless of timeline. 
lines. Fact is, not every bill with cybersecurity in the title is necessarily a good idea. I believe this bill will do little to make Americans safer, but will potentially reduce the personal privacy of millions of Americans in a very substantial way. The groups that I'm talking about are ones with members who have companies with millions and millions of customers. And they're saying they can't support this bill at this time. I think I know why these companies who didn't have a problem with previous kinds of versions of this legislation are saying they don't support it. These companies, Mr. President, are hearing from their customers. And they're worried that their customers are saying, this doesn't look like it's going to protect our privacy. Of course, we want to be safe. We also want to have our liberty. Ben Franklin famously said anyone who gives up their liberty to have security really doesn't deserve either. In 2013, declassified documents revealed that the NSA had been scooping up thousands of emails of citizens it wasn't allowed to target. Simply put, if the government has any concern, whether real or imagined, about John Q. Public, they can easily raid any and everything Mr. Public shares online, and there is nothing John Q. can do about it. Emails, financial information, political philosophy, all of this done in the name of the CIA's blockbuster fail, the interview, after Americans were sold the propaganda that North Korea had hacked Hollywood. Americans are now surveilled from the skies, wiretapped through their cell phones, Energy usage is gathered by smart meters for the inevitable carbon taxation coming, and all personal documents and information are devoured online without Americans' consent. This makes the East German secret police, the Stasi, look like the Cub Scouts. Completely unconstitutional, completely un-American, and illegal dealing a final death blow to the Fourth Amendment. Solutions for the time being? Use a VPN service and change your DNS server. It won't be long before you are officially informed that you are no longer an American citizen. Your new self-identity is as the property of the New World Order. God bless what's left of America. John Bound for Infowars.com. Well, Hillary Clinton knows Saul Alinsky's rules for radicals. She wrote a thesis on it when she was in college. They kept that embargoed while Bill Clinton was running and while he was in pr the presidency. But number six was about ridicule. Ridicule is man's most potent weapon. And in that spirit, we have sponsored a contest to ridicule Hillary Clinton. It's such a target-rich environment. And tonight, we have a lot of the entries. Of course, the deadline is tomorrow. And as we approach that deadline, the number of entries really accelerate. So we're going to give you a cross-section tonight of a lot of different styles. We've got computer animation, we've got claymation, we've got puppets, we've got stand-up comedy. So let's start with the very first one here, a computer animation by Phil Slaving. Hillary's attack on free speech. On George Washington and John Wayne all the way, and all you scum can go to hell. I'm never backing down. We're going to beat your ass. You just get that through your stinking heads. So excited to be here, grateful for everything. <laughs> bottom feeding trash like you and you're looking at her <laughs> go to hell and i'm just getting warmed up <laughs> you baby harvesting demon now of course this contest also inspired a live event here in austin at one of the local bookstores they had a stand-up comedy routine everybody could get up and uh, do a stand-up comedy routine some of them have entered their routines into this contest. Here's one of those. Comedian Nancy Reed's best bits about Hillary Clinton. Of all the political puppets, you're the Miss Biggie. Same hair, same nose, same ankles. Same treatment of any woman who crosses your man's path. Hi. <laughs> they asked her recently, did her State Department arm ISIS? And she said, well, that depends on what the meaning of is is. <laughs> Oh, and the, and the Clinton Foundation is helping Haiti. How sweet of them. Hillary's brother, Tony Rodham, 
got a contract, the first one in 50 years out of Haiti, to mine their gold at half the price, half the going rate, and he's paying the Haitian government. So this charity is literally a gold mine. It's an actual gold mine. <laughs> she recently said, had the gall to say that all victims should be believed. <laughs> well, the world would like you to know as your victims that we are really done with your abuse, your abuse of power, your abuse of public trust. Mm, we're done with it. One of the uh, very brave journalists recently asked her if her husband's victim should be believed. And here's her quote. She said, well, I would say that everybody should be believed at first until they're disbelieved on, based on evidence. So based on evidence, you are unbelievable. You're unbelievable. You are so beyond belief. Now, if you remember back to one of our earlier contests, one that happened right after I began uh, work here, it was the Paul Revere contest. In that contest, Tully Blackwood did a video that got about 900,000 views. It also got his YouTube channel shut down for several months, basically put that out of business. He took on Michael Moore. That may have had something to do with it. In that video, there was some time travel. There's a lot of costumes. Michael Moore got waterboarded with tea. Well, Tully Blackwood is back, and he has a claymation in the Hillary contest. Here's Tully Blackwood's uh, take on SpongeBob SquarePants applied to Hillary Clinton. Are you ready, infidels? I can't feel you. Clinton won't even touch me. He banged his employee, Monica Lewinsky. She erased all of her emails as fast as she wished. To cover up Benghazi, oh what a bitch. Presidential candidate in 2016. To continue a third term for Obama Supreme. Hillary Clinton Square ass. Hillary Clinton Square ass. Hillary Clinton Square ass. Hillary Clinton different Square ass. does it make? Hello, And finally, we have a Muppet-style entry, making fun of Hillary Clinton. This is by Can Newsroom. I'm Hillary Clinton, and I want to be your next ruler. President! Mm. I'm Hillary Clinton, and I'm a woman. Vote for me! I'm Hillary Clinton, and 9-11. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You got something on your face. Who said that? The camera guy. Oh, there you are. Hello, Steve TV here, filling in for Alex. Well, on today's show, we're joined by presidential hopeful Hillary Clinton. How are you, Miss Clinton? I'm doing fine now, Steve. But yesterday was Taco Tuesday. And this morning, it sounded like I was under sniper fire in the bathroom. Mm-hmm. Interesting. He once claimed that when you and Bill left the White House, you were flat broke. Well, stay tuned because we're going to have a lot more entries. The deadline is tomorrow, so we haven't even gotten there yet. That's it for tonight's news. Thanks for joining us. We'll be here again tomorrow night at 7 Central, 8 p.m. Eastern for the InfoWars Nightly News. Knockout is back. If you want a product that has 10 known ingredients, that naturally get your body to relax, your brain to relax, so you get deep, restful sleep. Knockout's it. InfoWarsLife.com. L-theanine, hops flower extract, lemon balm extract, valerian root extract, chamomile flower extract, L-tryptophan extract, melatonin, and more. All organic, all the natural sources. It's the same price as leading brands of melatonin that are three milligrams a piece. It has three milligram, the standard recommended dose for an adult. It's got the GABA, so it would probably cost $50 to take all this as separate pills. It's $19.95. You take one or two of these, and it just is really clean, restful sleep is what the reviews are. It's what I've experienced, and it just synergistically puts everything in there. InfoWarsLife.com. That's InfoWarsLife.com, or call 888-253-3139. You are watching the InfoWars Nightly News, which airs 7 p.m. Central at InfoWarsNews.com. And your support is helping us defend liberty worldwide.